Uh, my name is Dr. Brent Caton. I'm a cardiac anesthesiologist at the Royal Jubilee Hospital. I uh, take care of patients having uh, open heart surgery and look after them in the intensive care unit after the operations. My family doctor in Nanaimo identified that I had a, an aortic valve problem. He says, haven't you noticed any uh, symptoms? And I said, well, I get pretty out of breath when I climb a mountain. And he laughed and said, well, so do I. I still play hockey, old-timers hockey, once a week. And uh, so it was all very uh, uh, much a surprise. I met Mr. Kaufman the day prior to his uh, surgical procedure. Every day I uh, try to get up and see the patients before the operations and have a good discussion with them, get to know them as people, talk to them about you know, what they're worried about with the operation and uh, explain what I do. I think we both knew that um, Brent's operation was going to be quite a challenging procedure for the uh, surgeon. The uh, transesophageal echocardiogram, or as we call it, the TEE, is a uh, cardiac ultrasound that we use during uh, all open heart surgical procedures. It gives us excellent views of the patient's heart, heart muscle and heart valves during the procedure. At the beginning of the operation, we take um, images of the patient's entire heart and vascular system and compare it to images after the surgery. On one occasion, the cardiac ultrasound showed that there was an uh, unexpected leak, which can only be seen with the cardiac ultrasound device in the operating room. This paravalvular leak, left unfixed, could lead to serious long-term problems for Brent. Well, the nurse told me that uh, I'm lucky to be alive. Obviously, she knew the extent of the operation. When the cardiac surgeon came through uh, uh, the ward and, and stopped to talk to me, uh, his first words were, your, your heart was like a rock. So yeah, it was uh, quite significant. This new uh, cardiac ultrasound is much, uh, much better for um, helping me guide the surgical procedure. Its resolution, the three-dimensional capabilities, and the fidelity of the picture is uh, so much better than uh, what we had previously and I can really use it to guide the surgeon while the patient's in the operating room rather than days later. This machine can certainly make the outcome of operations better and can even save lives. It's a standard of care across the board. Brent Kaufman didn't expect to need the surgery he had. This could happen to any one of us and I think it's so important to give and um, make sure that we have the best medical equipment to look after people when they come for an unexpected operation or even an expected operation. It's uh, vital that we have this top-notch equipment to look after people to the best of our ability. It it's, makes me think that how lucky I am to be able to have uh, had that equipment. It's very important, uh, this fundraising campaign, that people, you know, give their financial support uh, so that the hospital can uh, acquire, you know, the very best uh, equipment that can help save people's lives.